I picked up this frame at Hobby Lobby. It was $7 on clearance. And I just love the vibe about it. It was like a beachy vibe. The color reminded me of either Higgins Lake or um, our turquoise. So I took the glass and the cardboard out of the back. And I'm going to take the cardboard and start by painting it with Mandarina by Wise Owl. We have this available in two ounces. They come in a pack of six if anybody's interested in trying our paint. You can find that at chalkitupfancy.com. And I'm just using a Gen foam brush to apply the paint to this cardboard. Once dry, I took a chip brush, you can find that at any hardware store, and just took a very little paint and just made some marks on the mandarina in a crisscross fashion, not looking for full coverage. I'm going to be using our Sticky Stencil by Redesign by Prima, the Sticky Style Mendy Border. And I'm going to be adding our Deep Turquoise with a dabber. These stencils are reusable. They come in a roll or you can dispose of them as you use them. But they have an adhesion to them. And this is one of our larger ones. And I'm just grabbing the edge of these cardboard. And just putting a line of this design down the edge. Now I'm going back to the glass that came out of the frame and I'm going to give it a good cleaning. And I'm going to take some E6000 and I'm going to glue the sand dollar and starfish to the exterior of the glass. I got those both at the Dollar Tree. Once everything dried, I'm going to reinsert the glass back into my frame. And then I'm going to add the cardboard again. I love the way this came out. You could stop right here and leave it at this. I decided to take this small bracket and screw it at the bottom. It's like an L bracket. You can get these right at the hardware store. And I screwed it from the back side. I did pre-drill first. Once attached, I took some hot glue and E6000 and I took this circle that I found right at Hobby Lobby. You can get it in a package and it's going to give me a little stand. I covered it with my Wise Owl white primer because I knew it would adhere to the metal and I painted the top and the bottom of this little circle so that it would match the rest of my frame. So now you kind of have this little shelf. You could set anything on here. Um, I found this little votive at the Dollar Tree and it kind of looks like it's in a rope style, kind of has that beachy vibe. And I use E6000 to glue it and now you can put a cute little candle in there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com.